So now I'm working on the door, and what it's going to be is it's going to be a, a roll-up door, but it's going to be out of wooden planks. So these wooden planks are going to be all joined together, and they're going to slide up and down just like a roll-up door. And now I'm just laying out the track exactly how it's going to run. So I can cut tracks for it, and then it's going to run across the top all the way to the back on the other side. Put my two rails in. You know, and this one got the dowel and stuff in it, and it's on a ledge. And that one is notched out as well, so it's not going anywhere. So we got our pieces cut. So they'll slide up, but now we need a top piece to keep it from going too high, and then they'll just be straight rails, and that's the channel that they're actually going to run in. And you can see both sides. You see, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do on the front with the trim. That's why I haven't finished right here. If I want to use a 2x4 or something thinner or what. But I'll figure that out. Get right back to you. So you can see the panels in there. That's all cut. and Rails are all the way in. You got a top and a bottom rail. All the way back. So now I'm going to make some hinges. I got a bunch of these old nails that I pulled out of pallets sitting around. And what I have is just a tube. This came off of a uh, refrigeration line. And it fits over. Um, it, there's probably about a 30 second inch of a gap, about a 30 second gap. You know, but it's it's good enough. So what we're going to do is first make the uh, the rotating piece. So slides over to the head. We're going to slide it down in my vise. Raise it up just a tad, about a sixteenth of an inch. A little bit of slop in there. And we're just going to 45 it, or 90 it. Let's raise it up just a little bit more. So make sure i got a good 90. There's my 90. Yeah, it's a little more. I'll bend it straight out. And now this thing spins. Lock it on there. Make sure it spins nice and free. There it goes. Now it's just nice and loose. That's our hinge mechanism. One side. This is going to be the other side. But now we need to make a spot for a screw to, to, hang, to hook on. This small thing so we can heat this up, even this steel up with just propane. There's one side, my hinge, make the other side, about five eighths of an inch or so. Give myself a 90. Clamp it in, heat it up. Same thing, just grab this, get the head around the nail.
There's the other side. And now we just need to join them. They cool off really fast. So I got this piece with the rotating mechanism on it. A little stiff. There it goes. And then the other piece, I just got that held down with the, my welding ground clamp. I'm just going to set those so they're flat on the surface. And actually, that's a little out. I'm going to bend that. Let's see if we can bend that. Now what we got to do is tack weld the loop to this nail and we're done. It is now a one screw hinge, so you can put one screw here, one screw there, and it'll hinge all the way. You can bend it so it'll do it all the way over on itself. There we go. And it'll lay flat. There we go, just light duty hinges. Pretty cool. Not bad, a little warm. Ooh, it's still warm. Hinge. A lot more to make. All the hinges are connected, so all these panels are connected together. Let's get you in here on these hinges. So you got all the hinges. Um, those are screwed on. But then what I did is I also welded a, a nail in between all of them. So that it's actually one continuous long chain. So from the top to the bottom, they all pull on each other instead of each individual hinge having to bear, you know, the top hinge would bear the weight of all the bottom. The whole door only weighs about 60 pounds. Okay, and then we have rope supports. And what these do, and they're just hooked, this is nothing, but they're just hooked to the bottom. And these, you know, we're coming in, there's one on each side, and they join in the middle. And what they do is they run back to a pulley and down to a counterweight. This is for the bottom. And then the top has its own as well. And it has its own counterweight. Um, and then we have, this is a actually a pulley as well. It's a pipe in a pipe. And let me show you that. As the door starts to shut. You'll notice that the, this deflects the rope pulling down there, so it acts like a pulley. And it rotates along the whole length of it. And same with this upper one. They both deflect around that, so it keeps it out of, out of the way when it's open. So the bottom slot, first thing I did is I actually took just my skill saw and I actually held it up there and I dadoed this out um, for a hand groove. And I took my railroad tie that you got right here and I actually welded a piece of steel, a piece of sheet metal to the top and bowed it out to give me more of a handhold. I don't have much room clearance at the top so this has to be able to slide through um, so I couldn't use a full railroad tie. Railroad spike, sorry, but I also wanted to do a handle on the inside outside. So after this was bowed out, you can see the bow to it. Um, after it was bowed out, I welded a little piece of sheet metal so it fits on this little edge, and then I drilled holes all the way through both, then cut the heads off bolts and welded them in. 
but now that goes in there. Um, it appears, and then the other side, side the other side, and then there's little nuts that hold it on. But that gives me a full width piece to actually grab onto to shut it. And then it should clear. Yep. The other side's bolted right here. So I can grab that. I think I'm going to do a relief like this on the bottom too. So I got more of an edge to grab it from the bottom to lift it up. Now we got a handle hold above and below to really get in there and then it's still clear.